guys, sometimes people ask me about aging and how I feel about it. And, you know, it's an existential question because aging has been linked to physical pain, infirmity, and ultimately death. And many people are afraid of death because they don't know what lies on the other side. So here are some thoughts I have about it. Number one, from all the near-death experiences that I've heard people report or read books about, death is actually an opening to a beautiful place on the other side. Number two is realizing that we are spiritual beings in physical form. And as long as I have a connection with the universe, with God, with my meditation practice, with my emotions and my thoughts and my inner world, I'm not so focused just on my outer world. Um, like even making a video like this, people listen to my videos because they like my voice. My voice is a reflection of my inner state. My voice is calm and easy to listen to, I think, because I'm calm. Those are the inner qualities, and those don't go away just because I'm going to get older. So the idea is to not identify solely with the body. That's what I'm trying to get to. Nurturing my spiritual world, like Eckhart Tolle is really good with that. Who am I besides my body? What value do I bring to people? Do people enjoy my company other than for my body and how it looks? You know, what do I enjoy doing? What are my hobbies? Who are my friends? And what is my value aside from my physical body? So I think we all have to make peace with that. And the earlier in life, I think the better. Um, and then I think how we age and how we enjoy our physical body is largely under our control in terms of um, what I eat and how much water I drink and how much sleep I get and importantly how I live my life my thoughts and my feelings because that impacts the choices I make and I think that uh, I decided as a little girl when I saw old people I wanted to be an old woman who had uh, wrinkles here and here and not here um, how we age is largely under our control. And I think that people can um, be productive and happy well into their late 70s. My pickleball instructor is in his late 70s and he looks good for his late 70s. Um, he's very vibrant. I've seen this in other um, men, especially if they keep being physically active and socially connected and um, engaged in things that give them pleasure happiness work they can be very vibrant and active well into their 70s and 80s the other thing i want to say too is our society has really devalued aging we don't look at older people as wisdom wise elders we think of them as people to put on a garbage heap in a nursing home and that's because so many people uh, lose their mental coherence as they get older and I don't know if that's linked to lifestyle or not but um, they're often seen as a burden and also a lot of people are not comfortable with aging in this society and so huge industries in the cosmetic surgery industry the makeup industry the youth regeneration industry have sprung up to try to extend life or make people look younger and so many people do these um, procedures to their face, which in my opinion, all these procedures are deforming and unattractive, um, whether it's Botox, fillers, plastic surgery, breast implants, liposuction, whatever they do. I can look at a woman and go, something looks off about you. And when that's off, I don't trust her. I don't want to get to know her because I, I can't read people's faces when their face has been messed with. And ultimately, our face is a window to our soul and to our emotions. And I don't like my wrinkles, but I like looking at my face and the expressions that it makes. I think that Madonna has really ruined her face with all the fillers. I mean, she has no wrinkles, but at what price? Um, same with Nancy Pelosi, you know, like, why do you have to get rid of your wrinkles? I've never done Botox. I've never done any of that. I don't believe in that. The only thing that I do is I color my hair. When my gray starts to come in, I don't have a lot, but 
It really uh, takes out my appearance a lot. You have seen in some of my videos probably when some of the gray comes in, I naturally look a little older. I'm not ready to go gray. So the one thing I do to alter my appearance artificially is I get my hair colored. And I think that my, um, my hair is very shiny. And most women my age don't have shiny hair. It gets very wiry and coarse. Mine is very soft and shiny naturally. And, um, and so I think that helps me also look younger. This is the longest and healthiest it's ever been. That helps me look younger, which I love. And I started recently working out with, um, with a strength trainer to build more muscle because I know a lot of that story that I had about aging, I caught myself recently. It's like, it's all downhill from here. And I caught myself having that thought like, no, it doesn't have to be downhill from there. I'm only 60. I have at least another 10 or 15 years that I can still build muscle. I think, I hope and enjoy my physical body as long as I can. And then after that, I'll have to make peace with the fact that my physical body is going to decline, but what will rise in its place will be my spiritual form. But right now, I'm not, I'm not quite ready to abandon my physical body because I'm physical. I love sex. I love working out. I love eating. You know, I love being in the space like I still love and enjoy the physical world I'm not ready to say goodbye to it but um, sometimes life forces us to uh, question all of that if we have like a stroke or some kind of accident where we are forced to um, go inside more and that's actually you know Part of the re that is actually why we're on earth we're not on earth just to enjoy a physical form we're on earth to deepen our connection with the universe through the physical form so i think that instead of getting so obsessed with wrinkles and aging i think we have to also remember to nurture our spiritual world and our connection to other people and love and to challenge ourselves and to keep growing personally mentally and emotionally because if i just identify with my physical form i'm going to struggle like a lot of these models as they get older because our, our body's going to get older you know and if if we're too identified with it or cling to it too tightly um then uh, not only are we shallow in my opinion but um, it can get very depressing as we're old. I'm the same age as that, that Polina Parskova, and I'm happy, and she looks very depressed. And I think it's because she um, identified so much with her with her body. Um, so she looks she looks very unhappy. Um, she's struggling, and I commend her for being vulnerable about her struggles. You know, she is giving us a, a eye glimpse view into that. And the celebrities are constantly doing things to their face. They think that makes them look good. I don't idolize celebrities. They're, you know, it's all a facade. It's all a mask. It's not even real. So my idea of aging, and I, I'm a model bookkeeper, and men still pay me and think I'm beautiful, men of all ages, so even though I have wrinkles, so I'm here to tell you that anybody who's telling you that you need plastic surgery or that nobody likes an older woman, that's um, their opinion or they're citing something from the manosphere because I've seen people in their 70s get into relationships and get married, and there's still men who want to date me. Uh, and I'm 60 and it's not because they can't get a younger woman some men don't want a younger woman so my advice for any of you that are aging is realize that your physical health is largely under your control and your appearance is largely under your control based on your lifestyle your thoughts and your emotions number two that you have value as you get older and you can even think of yourself as uh, having more value because you have more wisdom and more knowledge and own that and celebrate it. and don't let all the other people around you take you out and tell you that you're nothing because you're older 
a lot of people like being around me. Um, they like my company because I'm nice and I'm fun. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you can be nice and you can be fun even when you're older and people can enjoy your company and you can still start businesses and start projects. I'm myself working on overcoming that limiting mindset, you know, like I caught myself a few years ago saying, well, it's all downhill from here. And I'm like, you know, that was just implanted in me as a young girl seeing my grandparents who were so old. But people age a lot better these days. My grandparents were not lifting weights or running. They were, you know, my German grandparents were pretty overweight. They ate a lot of really crappy, very meat, fatty foods. And so I remember thinking, that's 60s, it's all downhill. But it's not. It doesn't have to be. But yeah, uh, then ladies, don't do any plastic surgery, really, because it's not, is that going to help you love yourself? Is that really more attractive than the wrinkles? Is this whatever they do? <laughs> is this really more attractive? The fillers, is that really more attractive than your natural face with the wrinkles? Not in my opinion. So that's how I deal with it, by just um, uh, embracing my physical form, nurturing my spiritual form, and making peace with the parts of myself I don't like. And I struggle with, for years with my wrinkles, like 10 years. I'm finally now getting to where I think I'm okay with the wrinkles, especially in lighting like this. So. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, there's certain existential crises humans have, like, am I worthy? Will people really like me? Uh, fear of aging and um, fear of dying alone. And then the disillusionment, you know, people who got out of college, they didn't get the job they wanted. They're disillusioned by, you know, they thought they could make this great life and they couldn't. People can get disillusioned. You know, these are just um, life things that we have to, uh, and a lot of it we have control over is what I think. But I want to know what you guys think about aging. If you're comfortable with aging, how you've dealt with aging. Um, and I really want to hear from women who are also against plastic surgery techniques because I don't think there are enough of us out there. And thank you for watching my video.